Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. I have an all day clean with me video for you today. I want you to get up and clean along with me. I'm going to put on some really good music for you and just get motivated. Let's get some things done around the house, whether it's big or small, whatever it is, just get up and let's go do something. So go ahead and crank up the music. Now that school has started back for the kids, my husband is the last one to get out of the bed. So I do not get to make my bed in the mornings anymore like I used to, and I do not like that at all. But on this day, I had the day off, so that is the very first thing I'm going to do is make my bed. And then after that, Mama needs some coffee to tackle the rest of the house. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough. The house really isn't in too bad of shape. It's been worse than this before, but as you see over there by the TV, there's some boxes that need to go out into the trunk. It's things that I'm going to be donating to Mills on Wheels. I know you guys have heard me talk about them before. That is a company or an organization that supplies meals to the elderly, uh, people in need that does not have someone there to cook for them. And there was another two uh, garbage bags that needs to go out in the trunk and there's two more bags that needs to go out in the trunk so just lots of things that I'm donating to Meals on Wheels they sell the items in their thrift store the money that they make then goes back to the community by providing meals to the elderly I love to donate to things like this that I know that where my money is going I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see. Kids' bathroom is a different story. The sink is disgusting with toothpaste. Look at that. Ugh, so gross. So I'm going to get that all cleaned up, mop the floors, clean the toilet, just do a good cleaning on the bathroom. Baby with a... This chair, you guys, has been broken for so long. I don't even know how long. And it took me literally maybe five minutes, if that, to get the wood glue, put it together, let it dry, and it's done. <laughs> Why did I let it stay there in the corner for such a long time? Oh my goodness. I am such a procrastinator on certain things. Other things, I want it done yesterday. This video actually was filmed a couple of weeks ago because now I have all of my fall decor out. So if you're thinking, wait a minute, the other day I saw a video and she has fall stuff out. That's why this was recorded a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting it edited and posted up for you guys to see. Like the snow. 
one of Isabella's chores is to put all the dishes up out of the dishwasher in the evening whenever she comes home from school. But because I was home today and not working and I had some dirty dishes in the sink that I wanted to put in the dishwasher, I just went ahead and put the dishes up for her. We're a family. Yes, it's her job to do that, but we're all a family here, so we're all going to help one another out. She helps me with some of my chores that I have to do, and I'm going to gladly help her with some of her chores. Get enough. Don't ever let me be away from you. I'm going to hold you tight, hold you tight, because you're the only thing that I can't do. To wipe down the countertops, I'm using my Mrs. Meyers peony scent, and I know that's not how you say it, but that's the way I'm going to say it because I'm stubborn like that. <laughs> but I love this scent. It's one of my favorite scents for the spring or summer, and it's also my favorite flower. But you don't see that I just want you. You get the things, but I don't care. Place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know? It just amazes me how dirty this wall right here gets. This is actually tile, and it gets so dirty. And we don't even stand or sit at the bar. I don't have bar stools, and we're not even there. But I think it's from where. Like if Amelia drops food or drops her sippy cup or something and it kind of splatters maybe. I don't know, but it gets so dirty and I have to wipe it down all the time. One of these days, I would love to actually put up some shiplap. I think that would be so much prettier than this tile. It's so now let me tell you why. What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible. When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit. I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good like no other. I just want everyone to see what I've discovered. To dust my lights, I'm using the full circle duster from Grove Collaborative. And I do have my Grove Collaborative link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you are a new customer, there is like a five piece gift set that I think you can get after you spend maybe $30. I'm not 100% sure what the deal is right now, but like I said, the link is down in the description if you want to check it out. To clean my mirror, I was using a microfiber cloth that is from Grove Collaborative and then I follow it up with an e-cloth glass polishing cloth. It will not leave any streaks on your mirror at all. I love that thing. And I'm also using the microfiber cloth to clean down the countertops. All you have to use is water, but I wanted to have a nice scent in the bathroom. So I was using the Mrs. Meyers Acorn scent and I got that from Target, but you can also find that at Grove Collaborative. Now I'm just putting in some essential oils from Young Living into my diffuser. I love having a diffuser going whenever I'm cleaning and it's really nice to have one in the bathroom. I actually got this idea from my sister-in-law. You can find her channel over at Mama Squared. She had one in her bathroom and I thought that was such a really good idea instead of burning candles, that would give you the nice scent in your bathroom.
Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Something that I always do whenever I'm cleaning the toilet is I go ahead and squirt in the Lysol or Snowbowl, whatever type of toilet cleaner you use. Go ahead and squirt that into the bowl of the toilet and let the toilet cleaner do its job. If you just squirt it in there and then immediately brush or scrub the toilet, you're not letting the actual cleaner do its job. So go ahead and squirt it in the toilet bowl and then squirt your other cleaner on the outside of the toilet and start cleaning the outside of the toilet and then go back to the inside of your toilet and clean that up. Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if there's a way out I also like to let the toilet brush air dry But before I do that, I do go ahead and spray on some antibacterial spray Just because it's really gross That is the nastiest thing that I could think of that is in your house So I do like to spray on that antibacterial spray Awaken my spirit now You got me thinking Whoa, I don't know how we got here Oh my Do you see those little oval shapes in the bottom of the tub? That is actually like little non-skid um, I don't know what it what it is It's actually made in the tub It's really nice because it definitely helps you not slip and fall in the shower But it holds all the dirt like they can get really dirty no matter how often you clean the shower they get kind of dingy looking so i like to scrub the tub and then i use a magic eraser which i'm doing now and that really helps get them clean and white again you got a smile on makes the sun rise you make it shine but i can see that you don't realize and that's what made me fall in love cause you got a the way your body makes my heart beat sound it's amazing all the time you are the only thing i need let's talk about this vacuum cleaner you guys my mom bought this vacuum cleaner, which is a rainbow, when I was a freshman in high school. I am now 41 years old, so I'll let you do the math. This thing still works. I don't use it very often because I don't have the carpet attachment to it anymore. That did tear up and I bought a replacement, but it wasn't really a rainbow brand replacement. So I just don't use it very often. I love that vacuum cleaner. If I was not a cheapo, I would go and buy me a new one right now. They are very expensive. They're like $2,000. My mom bought a new one and she gave me that one and I love it. It is so nice. We 
do this every day, we do this love for life. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize, and that's what made me fall in love. Try to fool ya. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. Go and you look like that. Closer, closer, I'ma get closer to you. Yeah, got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again. Another chance, loving you is all I wanted. I'm wide open for a love affair, girl. When you look like that, closer, closer, I'ma get closer to you. Yeah, got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again. Girl, Smiling like that, I could never resist it. Smiling like that, I could never resist it. Smiling like that, I could never resist it. To mop the tile flooring, I'm using my microfiber e-cloth, and all you have to use is water. That's it. I like to get the water as hot as I can, get the little microfiber cloth wet, and then go to town mopping. I do rinse it out after doing so much of the floors just because it's such a big area and I feel like it does get a little bit dry. There is another mop that has a spray bottle on it that you fill up with water. I wished I would have got that one, but I'd still think I would take it off and rinse it out ever so often because like I said, it is such a big area and I just feel like I don't know, maybe it's the old school in me, but I just feel like after so much of an area, you need to rinse it out and start fresh. I am all finished. I am a hot, sweaty mess. It is a lot of work to do these floors because you have to vacuum all of them and then you go back and mop. I am just, I'm burning up and I like how Jen Chapin says it, she runs hot. <laughs> it's so funny. I really, I think I'm wanting to try the zone cleaning. It's just, it's really hard when you work outside of the home. You come home, you have paperwork to do, you have homework to do with the kids now that they're back in school. 
and then you got to cook dinner and clean up that mess and then bath time and bedtime and it's hard to fit everything in in the evenings because I don't want to clean house on the weekends because that's my time with the kids. I'll let you know if I decide to do that or not and let you know my schedule and everything. I have a schedule for my laundry already. I'm gonna go take a shower and rest for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and it gave you some motivation and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.